Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to assign different materials in just one single mesh in Blender 3.6. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. So I'm going to delete this cube and then I will add another mesh which is more complicated. Let's say the UV sphere. This is a UV sphere. And then first, of course, in object mode, I will just turn on the Turn on the, the material, the viewport shading. All right, next, you can see this is a, a white ball. It not yet assigned any of the material yet. So start from now, maybe I will just apply a new material. And then the base color, I will switch it to some color, let's say the green color, then this is a green ball. But what about if you want to apply more materials at different parts of the single mesh, just, just more materials and how are you going to apply? So it is really easy, just need to go to the UV editing mode. In UV edi editing mode, you have to turn on the texture as well. And then, let's say if these four surfaces, I want to apply new materials, then what can you do? You can just go to select the face. To select the face, you have to click here. Then select these four, hold the shift, select all of the surfaces that you want. And then maybe I want to apply these four surfaces in, in a material texture. Then I will just click the UV and click unwrap, something like this. Then, go back to here, it already have a material that is the green color just now. So you have to add new material here, then click plus new. Now this is another material. Then click assign, you can see it assign here. What about if you want to make it become a picture? You can just click it, click it here, then change it to image texture. Then let's open, open a picture. So as demo, I'm going to select a random picture from my desktop. Let's say the major international road sign. So this is a picture. So now it already assigned as a material here. It is pretty easy. And let's say I want to, to change another texture. Let's say I want to apply another texture at here. I just need to select. For example, I want to apply a computer screen at here. Then just click plus, add a new material plus new. Then the base color I change to image texture then open, open another picture on my desktop. Let's say the Windows 10, a screenshot, then click, click assign. Now, of course you can see the UV is at here. To apply the, the whole thing, you have to make sure you select, select it first and click UV and unwrap. Then it is going to, to apply it here then you may just apply it here rotate it to fit to your needs the s is to make it bigger then move it then scale it something like this now you can see, actually in this UV sphere, in this single mesh, I already applied three materials here, and you can apply, see, you can simply apply material, just adding new, new color, and then click assign. So now, totally four materials apply here, and you can rename the materials. Just press F two, wait, just double click the material. 
let's say you want to rename this, this is Windows 10 picture and this one pink here material to sign board now totally different materials apply here if you export as FBX of course you always remember you have to export export in layout mode and then you have to make sure that you export together with the material so to export together with the material embedded inside the FBX you have to make sure during you export the FBX you have to select the path mode as copy and highlight these buttons this configuration will make sure that when you export the FBX file it is going to export an embedded of the material texture together inside the FBX file let's have a look now as demo I'm going to export it on my desktop and the file name I'm going to name this as UV Sphere 01 for example I export this FBX and then just check the FBX file it is on my desktop I double click in Microsoft Windows 10 it is going to open with the 3D viewer now you can see the material already embedded inside this FBX file these two are material texture these two are image and then this is the base color and base color everything already at here it is quite easy to embed these different materials in just one single mesh all right that's all for today about the tutorials on embedding, embedding different materials in a single mesh and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharing if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new videos tutorials or sharing you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing see you